What's going on guys? It's Justin Springer and I'm about to tell you exactly how to get five to seven sales a week for free in MCA the no bullshit way because I am sick and tired of seeing some bullshit. In fact, uh, I see guys that make you pay for training just for this useless piece of shit information and instead I'm just going to go ahead and give you a whole bunch of value on it. It's not to try to sell you my training. It's just to say, hey, you know what? I do give some extra advice. But you can take this method and you can literally make five to seven sales a week. Now, here's the only thing. Here's the only thing. The reason why you're going to fail in this is that you won't stay consistent with it, okay? So literally, if you can stay consistent with this, you're going to get five to seven sales a week in MCA absolutely for free because Facebook is free and so is some of this other stuff I'm about to show you okay so let's dive into it you're gonna get some actual value from this I know guys that actually charge for this information and it's so stupid I'm about to give it to you right now and probably be shot down by all the guys that give this stuff away in their training okay um, but anyways so let's start so you have Facebook right you have your Facebook profile hopefully you set it up correctly you know what I mean? Hopefully you made it appealing. You didn't just kind of, you know, share little kitten videos and all that stuff on there. Not knocking any women that do that. It's just, you know, this is about business, right? So anyways, so you have your Facebook profile, okay? You're making your posts. And look, somewhere along the line there, you want to make a post something similar like this. Who wants to make $500,000 a week online? Comment below. But look, you don't want that to be your first post that somebody sees really quick because I'm going to show you why in just a minute here, okay? So, you know, the first post needs to be, I don't know, something creative, you know what I mean? Could it be a wonderful picture, a wonderful quote, or you can use this. I know some of y'all are actually going to use this because you probably can't think all the way for yourselves, and I understand. No big deal. That's what I'm here for. All right, so then what you're going to do is you're going to open this in Chrome. So if you have a cell phone, I'm sorry, go ahead and get off this video. Go to some of my other videos, my other training videos, or buy my training because then I talk about how you can do this stuff from a cell phone. Unfortunately, these two things right here are going to be uh, from a desktop or a laptop, okay? So anyways, you're going to go on Chrome. Like I said, you have Facebook open on Chrome, okay? You're going to go to Chrome extensions, right? And... Chrome Web Store extensions. My computer is probably going to run a little bit slow because I'm video recording all this, but you're going to get the idea really quick. So uh, you're going to go to Chrome extensions and see right there where it says search the store. All you're going to do is you're going to put in Facebook Toolkit, okay, and uh, hit enter. It's a free Facebook Toolkit. That's the cool thing about it. All this stuff that I'm giving you is free. As you can see, I already have it, but what you're going to do is you're going to click Add to Chrome. Make sure it's not the one with 49 ratings. It's the one with 2,382. I don't know the difference, but still, let's just go ahead and this is the one I'm using, so that's why I'm going to, like, you know, use this one, okay? So add the extension on there. Now then, you're going to go to what they call searchisback.com. Searchisback.com, all right? And this is really cool because what it does is it goes through Facebook and it finds people for you that matches the criteria that you get it. So search for, not friends, okay, because your friends are limited right now. We need to expand that. In order to make sales on Facebook, okay, or in MCA, you need to stay consistent, number one. And number two, you need to get in front of more people. It's strictly a numbers game, okay? Now, when it says gender, all this stuff, all these things you don't want to fill out everything but at the end of the day you want to friend request people that are similar to you okay and what I mean by that is like I'm a 35 year old guy right so I want to basically get any any guys anywhere between 25 to maybe 30 or 35 and the reason why uh, th th that is that way is because my story is not going to relate to every young guy out there right Yes, I could probably go off and get some younger guys, um, you know, you know, and in, into my business. But at the end of the day, I'm going to really attract more of those people that are closer to who I am. And this is just starting off, guys. Once you once you start getting some results, then you can branch out. I'm just trying to help you, you know, have some ideas on how you can make some quick sales. Okay, and like attracts like, right? So, but anyways. 
Uh, what you're going to do, so let's just say if I was doing that, I'm going to do mail, uh, current location. That's up to you, but maybe I want them, you know, to be working. So I could say Walmart, you know, maybe they work for Walmart, which is nothing wrong with Walmart, but maybe they want a different job. Or it's kind of cool that I know that they are working, so you know there's no sense in them saying I don't have forty dollars, or they might say I got forty dollars when I get paid, right? Um, right here is probably hard to see, but it says born in what year. Well, look, if I click the button, it says year range. So um, you know, whoops. And I'm just doing this off the top of my head. I don't know the actual ranges, but if I did 1991 and maybe 2000, what would that? No, that would put somebody at 17. Sorry, I'm not doing good with the math here, but maybe I could do 1998, uh, right? Or whatever. But anyways, you don't want to put name, uh, location. This is if you want to get a little bit more dialed in. Okay, so I can do Dallas, Texas, but right now I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to worry about location. Or look, school. Maybe I want them to be going to a particular school. Now that's a really good one. If they are going to school, obviously this is a different, you know, range of people because guess what? They have a full time, you know, uh, they have full time class schedule, right? So I might say, hey, you know what? I'm going to erase Walmart and I just only want to go for people that are in Texas Tech from these ranges. You know, obviously you want to go for a little bit younger crowd if they're in school. But the reason why is because they're dedicated to school, okay? Um, they don't have that much money, you know, and, and every now and then if they can make some extra income part time, just doing what you're doing, just telling them what you're telling them, like I do in my training, just telling them what to post, tell them to stay consistent, they can actually make money. Okay. So that might be a good crowd, but for the sake of everything right now, I'm just going to go back to Walmart. Okay. So, so let's think about this. I'm looking for males between these ages working at Walmart, boom, find people. Look what this is actually going to do. It's actually going to go back to Facebook for you. So you're not even having to do this. It's going through Facebook right now. Okay. And look, here we go. We have a few people right here that, um, well, look, I'm already friends with them. <laughs> so I think I did this in another video for my training. So anyways, uh, those people I'm already friends with, but right here, I am not. Look, 24 years old, works at Walmart. Okay. Um, now, what I want to do with that is I want to go back over here. You see in the top right corner, if you can see my, I'm looking at that toolkit that I just added the extension of. Hopefully it won't take too long to pop up. Okay, right here it says click all add friend buttons. I'm going to click it. And another screen or another little thing is going to pop up. Okay, there it goes. All right. Now you see this down arrow button. What this is going to do is when I click add all friends, it's only going to click what has been seen and what you have scrolled to. Okay. So obviously I want to scroll down a little bit more, but you want to use this arrow. You don't want to use the actual scroll in your, um, on the right hand side of your screen. You actually want to use this arrow. So you click it and it's going to scroll a little bit it's probably running slow for me right now there it goes okay see how i went ahead and scrolled down a little bit now uh because i've actually used this for a training and i don't want to do too much i just want to go ahead and show you i'm not going to scroll down too far but look then i just hit click all you know all add friend buttons and what it's going to do is look in this corner over here It's going to automatically do it for me. And I wonder if it's running slow. There it goes. Okay, see? So all ad front, uh, buttons are clicked. There it goes. Yeah, it's just running slow because I'm video I'm recording this. But anyways, so as you can see, it's going through and it's hitting the add friends button and friend requesting all these people. And then all of a sudden, Something else is going to pop up in a minute that's going to tell you that it's done. Okay, I was going to try to just let it go through and show you guys, but I think you get the idea. What it did was it just sent out all these friend requests to these people. Now you're probably thinking, okay, well, how is this going to lead to five to seven sales a week, Justin? I don't get it. Well, let's be honest. Not every one of these guys are going to um, accept your friend requests, right? 
Oops. That's going to pop up every now and then. Just close it out. Okay, so not every one of these guys are going to accept your friend request, but the idea is, is that most of them are, and they're going to start coming to your page, and they're going to start seeing what you're all about, and they're going to start, you know, kind of going through your stuff, right? Now then, this just keeps going. I wonder if I scroll down way too much. Okay. There you go. Now it says all ad print buttons are clicked, so that's done. It's all done. We can close all this stuff out. And once again, now to go back to the cells, right? Now to uh, so you can understand how it's going to lead. Let me just close this one out. Let's go back to this Facebook. So I, back on my profile. So now, because I just friend requested a whole bunch of targeted people, right? They're going to go back to my page and they're going to start seeing what I'm doing. Now, if you notice, this is another training, but if you notice, I don't really say anything about MCA in the beginning. So uh, more people are, you know, they, they're more likely to come to my page and see what I'm all about. And they're going to scroll through and then look what's happened today alone. And these are all new friends that I just got today. But look, I said, who wants to make $500,000 a week online? This person said, me, 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 info, please, info, I do. So there you go. So now I'm already getting people looking at what I'm doing and see how easy that was. Now, if you think about this, if you had new leads each and every day, just like this, this was totally free, right? If you had new leads just like this, how many sales can you get? Now, obviously, then from there, what you want to do is you want to give them the info. You want to close them out. Now, we already know you're not going to close everybody. But at the end of the day, if you could do this every day, and how fast was this? How fast was this? This was very, very simple, very, very quick to do, right? It didn't take me that long. I just made a post. I made another post. I downloaded these two things. I went and got my criteria. I friend requested a whole bunch of people. They're already asking for information. So you got to look at it like this. Imagine if you do that each and every day and you close one person a day. Well, then you just made 560 bucks a week. Okay. And with that 560 bucks a week, you can go ahead and invest in my training and I can take, show you how to take it to uh you know two thousand dollars a week or whatever that case may be but at the end of the day this should be able to get you a sale at least once a day um i think i put in the description five to seven sales a week which is what you want because a lot of you new people do not know what to do do not know how to do it so uh anyways did this video for you guys i hope this helps i hope you can see now how you can get five to seven sales so go ahead and subscribe I'm going to start be, I'm going to start giving some more information away to try to help people out. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of crap going on uh you know a lot and I'm not knocking anybody's hustle so that's why I'm not calling out any names but all I'm saying is I want to move forward and actually want to help people. So um, check out some of my other videos, make sure you subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel and then we'll go from there. Talk to you guys later.